moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. The weather patterns of April, you know, the unpredictability is what invites you to be in your core, in your center, and feel peacefulness. It can radiate out into the world. Hello, everyone. I'm Mylene. Alki, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast. <laughs> yeah, this weather, you know, I always start somehow my podcast with weather, but it's fun. It's part of me. I'm the nature girl, right? The landscape architect. I'm born this way. Constantly connected with the wind. If I'm inside, I hear it. If I'm outside, I feel even the tiniest breeze. <laughs> yeah, what does April bring us? Next to that huge gates will open and fascinating alignment of planets. If you're interested in astrology, then you know much more than me. But I, these gates that open and this influx of new energies that will feel new to us invite us to go with the flow, to stay cool in a way <laughs> yeah but it's easier said than done to stay cool and calm inside and limber enough to well look my body is moving oh you can't look because <laughs> i don't have a video on today it's just audio but this limberness to go and feel relaxed enough to move in any direction right or circle around or spiral or left and right and a little bit in that direction but really far in the other direction the same is outdoors there are now clouds but a second before there was blue sky and then there was wind strong wind bending the trees the next moment no wind and tomorrow it's warmer yesterday it was freezing there was snow then the hot sun comes through, right? And this is how it feels inside to many of you, what I've heard recently from you, that this uncomfortableness of not knowing what comes, right? The unpredictability, in a way also the thinking, not sensing, that we cannot do anything. All right, that a few people in this world dictate now how things are happening and who is allowed to live and not. And I want to remind you, though, as if you look again at the, sp the weather of spring, April, somehow it's each year similar it changes. What did they figure out in Britain? Some scientists notice that everything blooms about two weeks earlier and has done that now for almost a decade. The, the consistent trend is that it's getting warmer. Again, it's for the northern hemisphere, right? So even though it gets cooler, freezing, hot, warm, even hot, suddenly in the 20s, next day it was <laughs> low singles, Celsius <laughs> here in Germany. God, it's not so easy encumbrancing everyone around the globe. <laughs> Once I was pretty good in remembering what Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit uh, Celsius was when I lived in the US. I could go back and forth. And since I'm here, it's not in my mind so much anymore. But there is, if you zoom out 
right? Even if you have a graph where things go up and down, there is a, a rise is it stock markets, currencies, right? Of it getting warmer. We're moving into the next month, that is for sure, and towards summer. But yeah, it shows again, even in the growth, right? Some flowers and plants brought out their leaves too early. And then the ice came and the snow and some of those leaves froze. Others didn't depend of what location, right? And how much sun exposure or shade. And those have to re-sprout. And there's the question, will they re-sprout in a different way, in a new way, in a more adapted way? And is it so bad that the leaves froze? So if you look at yourself this way, what did you bring out into the world? And then maybe it didn't function so well. Maybe you'll bring out something new now, after rest, after repairing or fine-tuning a few things with your body. Did you think you had to go this direction and maybe certain nutritions weren't the right thing for you and you tested something new. Maybe a certain diet, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't bring the results you desired. You fine-tune and a, and a restart. But it's not a restart from zero. You come wiser with experience as the plant. It may bloom then when the rose comes out a, a few days later. But somehow it's able to catch up because so many plants, if you look outside, they do things in unison. They flower at the same time, they bloom at the same time. And we do similar things if we really sense each other and take the time. Right? We've all coming out of the hibernation state, now putting in the structures, thinking of how to grow the roots strong enough. Do we have enough roots in the ground? to hold us up, what we're starting to sprout out through the ground, breaking through the ground, seeing the sunshine already, right? So it, it, it's in this growth period, but also your turmoil inside, right? We, you know, we know, you know, there is this, I know, there is this change at the moment where we sense something new is coming, and it's going to be beautiful. But at the same time, then things happen that are, you know, that's come up from under the carpet that are painful. Show the way humanity is. We're trained to be this way. And, and you ask yourself, when is this going to stop? Why is this still happening? And I would say it's happening less. But maybe it's showing once more to us a residue where are things still in in us that have not been healed that still react out of trauma out of trigger mm -hmm. the birds are singing outside don't, don't give up <laughs> for us for you <laughs> oh, thank you right this hurt or this suppression they have to act on someone's order. So there's the time to go then and say, okay, this is all going on within me and it's touching me, it's doing something with me. All these things, the weather, the world happenings, my own body, you may feel not fit enough or not in the form you desire, but you desire it. That means you have your intention on it, so it will get better. And it is getting better because you set your intention. So try again. Don't give up like the bird just told us. Told me. <laughs> There's a fine tweaking. Someone, Something had to be uncovered. Someone had to show up in your life. Something you had to remember. You had to try out and it didn't work. Or not that it didn't work. It's like you have to hone that craft. You have to do it over and over and get better in this direction, in that direction, right? Owning a craft. We learn out of experiences the best, the fastest. So we're all beings of love. 
and all of you who are listening here, you have the desire and you live to create impact, to bring light, to bring love. So now is the time. It is the time for us to move into our optimal state. And again, as the bird said, don't give up. It may take a few rounds, it'll take a few days, it'll take a few months, and it'll take a few years. In that time, though, keep on shining your light. Keep on radiating out your love. Smile, laugh, be present in the moment, wherever you are. You can influence your surrounding, you can influence yourself, you can influence your family, your friends, your workplace. How do you greet everyone? How do you say goodbye to everyone? How do you invite them to do the teamwork with them? How do you hand over the paperwork? When you go to state officials with the landscape architect, we often had to go to government and show our work, ask for permission for them to look over things. Other team members, your colleagues, If you're a coach, there's so many healers on here, right? To bring out that is within you comes out best, (laughs) your unique style, if we are on wobbly ground, where not everything is perfect. There's a small, uh, short story. I was 2012 on Hawaii which island Kauai, and um, to it was for the conference of or illuminate the illuminate conference. I can't remember something like this. We're crazy beings from around the world and far away of from the cosmos appeared. But one night we went to a beautiful site where the priestess of no let me remember I don't want to say the wrong words Hawaiian dancers get initiated the hula dances right ancient traditional dances and the terrain was not beautiful paved had to go up and down and because the light was gone on the way back it was so dark and you had to feel yourself uh, because the flashlights, uh, who had flashlights around, we left in the morning. No one was thinking we would get that far even <laughs> until late at night. And someone said, Mylene, I was so worried that you couldn't get up there or down here. But it looks you do it best because you're used to walking different. And it became clear to me, yeah, so something where I was always thinking, oh, I don't fit in or I walk different as others gave me balance. And that's what she said. I remember, oh, you have so much balance. So I had to learn through my different way of gait to shift and find balance in different ways. And that helped me in a terrain. And that's why even as a little kid, I didn't have to go on the path. I could go left and right and I found my way. On any surface, I feel comfortable. I have to don't worry about my ankles. But that day, it became clear to me what freedom that gave to me. And what surety and what connection it provided for me. First to the ground, to the plants around me, right to the stones below. I was and still am always so connected. Maybe because I always walk barefoot. Not always, but as often as I can. <laughs> I'm not one of those always barefoot walkers. If I don't have to put on a shoe, I'm happy. Let's put it this way. <laughs> yeah? So our differences and having it not easy. And that's what is needed right now. You may have not a community, but your community is growing together where you find yourself and where you can open up of how you function and you may have not felt you belong 
but you do because you need it right now we are here now to create live on this earth to bring and be an example by being our being fully in expressing our way and showing it now so many of us and i include myself we have tightened ourselves we have adapted to others but now it is time not to adapt to let go those structures those facets that are not you that are not me that are not us so can we can with ease and a lightness that bring out our gifts with smiles with a vocabulary that everyone who we desire to be with understands and is attracted to and you may be someone who's now more outside or pulled back inside quietly meditating sensing for the globe sending good, good energy sending healing Ascending support of who's moving from one place to another, that they are, arrive well. That this control over other people dissolves. So that's a big topic. So where is your own control over yourself holding you back of being who you are? Yeah. And the more you are you, the more I am me, the more we are we, others have no other way than to change their way or also figure out who are they really and who are they following. Are they following themselves or others? And also stop obeying then others and doing things they really don't want to, but they have to, maybe out of fear of survival or not or I have to cut a tree and don't want to cut a tree Brazil I mean the list goes on and that maybe they're putting down the gun and putting down the saw and what are you putting down maybe putting down certain foods we don't want to buy anymore that are in grocery stores and saying we don't want to have them in a store Puccini says yes so and are those gates that are opening or these alignments or these beings that are coming, the star nations, they're all coming to support us. So ask for help. Sit calmly and ponder and communicate with them, even the trees or the cat, <laughs> right? Loved ones, others. Any healing helps. And it can go back and forth and ups and down. It's a turnaround, right? One moment you work on yourself. Maybe the next moment you send healing to other places. Then there's healing for unity of humanity. And then there's next moment one against a pain, oppression. Why are certain things even produced? So that these unfold and people start questioning their own actions. So I invite you to act with less judgment. Look for harmony and balance within yourself. And look at everything precise. Like with the weather we were speaking about, the April weather, you know. The ice that comes down from the sky. The rain. The wind that goes in all directions. The different colors of green. These different plants you can see. And those flowers. Why are they flowering in certain colors? And reappearing. Year after year. This unity is what amazes me. <laughs> Every time. How you walk or drive through the landscape. And boom. Yesterday there was nothing. And suddenly... Similar plants, the same plants, I should say, similar growth, different locations, bloom. They communicate. Let's communicate more with each other. An inviting communication. A language of love, a language of support, a language of embrace. 
sing with your voice as the bird outside. Bring that happiness out of you into the world. And let the wind take it on and bring it somewhere else. Every cell in your body that you bring to move in, into its uh, own rhythm. So it can dance and move with ease and freedom. Invites the cell next to it to do it. Or the body next to it. The particle next to it. The material. And right we're so connected. Let's celebrate this connectivity. And go like on a scavenger hunt. For where it feels tight. Not connected. Particles feel lost. Particles feel left alone. And put light, energy, love and whatever else it needs into that. So it's this in and out and out and in, in and out, in, close and too far from far, too close from me to you, right? And then maybe once around the globe, twice the globe, you can do as much of a playful healing as possible to bring this lightness of light, of weight, less weight, no heaviness, right? And the brightness. This will help. This will help. And it is helping. It helps like a, you know, a fire that you try to put out and has the strength to rekindle. It cannot be put out. Not anymore. Because now it's your time. It's my time. It's our time to be the beacon, to invite everyone else to be the beacon and to move into a natural state of love, harmony, balance, freedom, unison. The list goes on. So feel supported. Here's a song for you. Buyoyan leninda wujum bondon Belalonyana uyamal Bendalaun dun shundalain Bendadaun dulan shundain Bendadun yalan yulam balalilalilam shumbun tundalnye Oh, I'm 
you for support for us. For us to be more of who we are. For you to be more who you are. For me to be more who I am. And to radiate that out into the world. With surety. With love. With light. With your intention. With your flavor. With your essence. <laughs> I wish you the best. I'm Mylene, your host of the Moving to Oneness podcast. Bring your will. Brilliance. <laughs> Bring your brilliance forward. Brightly. <laughs> Goodbye.